Now this is the stuff I was talking about, the Durabond 90 for the big gaps over here. And the difference between that, from what I understand, is that this dries uh, a lot faster. I think within 90 minutes, I think that's what that means. Um, it is faster and uh, otherwise this regular joint compound is going to take weeks or months if it's that thick. I mean, if they're glopping on and there's big gaps, it's going to take a long time to, to cure, plus it shrinks. So I just watched a video and basically you just want it thick enough so it doesn't run off of there. Of course, because you're going to put it on the ceiling and you don't want it running off, but um, kind of like peanut butter. There's not really a need for me to show this, but I'm just basically just gonna just fill in all those gaps that I've got and repair a lot of things that I broke. So I finally got all the mudding finished. I wish I could just show all the uh, times that it is so hard for me to get motivated to do this. Uh, but just trust me that it's very hard to get <laughs> motivated but I just keep the end in mind so I just keep going and so I finally was able to get some light there and it's dimmable so I'll have like four of those across there I'll probably get like a light shield or a light reflector or something to reflect everything so those little moments like that it encourages me. Seems like things are coming alive. I just have to finish a lot of the wood on the ends. And I'll be working on that. But this is the home stretch and that's the feeling of just I just want this finished, but I still have to get through these last parts. That's probably one of the uh, things I want to touch on is just motivation. One of the major things is the drive to do it. And it does get get hard during these hard uh, things that I don't want to do. Um, but it's always the end goal that keeps me going. So that even though I go through just a break and just uh, sleep on it or something, and I just think about the end goal and another element of Dry, the, the drive is I have to race against uh, winter and so as the days get colder I'm, I know I'm running out of time but uh, I'm almost there so I just have to push through the home stretch feeling and that's uh, pretty normal I mean it's everybody feels that when they're on a worthwhile project and I did get a screen TV and I'm looking for a couch so I'm anxious to just get it livable and getting in get in here because I'm excited about it but at least all of the hard stuff is over and now it's just kind of the more exciting parts I got all the plugs working so all the outlets are have power and just to see a little light come on just gives me a glimmer of hope and uh, motivation to keep going. Hey, it doesn't look like I've uh, progressed that much, but uh, I've sanded everything down, done all the detailed work, and there's nothing really too mudding. Uh, it's just, you know, getting it down smooth and sanding it down, and so there's no need for me to really show anything there. I mostly just try to highlight the things that might be complicated or things that I'm doing unique to the project or something like that. Uh, but this is the most undesirable thing to do, but I have to paint it now. It's not perfect. I mean, there's flaws everywhere. But I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, well, I learned a lot, and my next project will be better. Just 
show you a little bit of the progress. Um, there's a couple reasons why I chose this white paint. Um, one of them is it was I wanted to get kind of a brighter color for the ceiling because all this dark wood was just making it really dark <laughs> and uh, so I, I chose the the lighter color you know I, I could have chosen any lighter color but uh, um, also the white actually matches some of the paint splotches that are already on the wood so uh, and then there was a suggestion from one of the com commenters I forgot what what their profile name was but they said they dip a mixture of uh, uh, white paint and then water together just took a rag and just kind of spread it out so it kind of had this natural uh, paint that used to be on the wood and uh, might do some of that I don't know but the other reason was uh, it was only a dollar fifty for each can so really cheap I was able to mix it up again and it was oil based so it was able to get preserved longer over the winter especially so uh, there's a couple reasons cheap and it brightens up the general look of it well, I learned a lot through this process got the last coat of paint on there it's drying uh, I can see all my flaws and everything I just not worried about it because on my next project I'll do even better but it's impossible to be perfect when you've never done something before so I am just improving on each project that I do and the other factor is motivation so I don't want to keep looking at it plus I'm going to have whatever you call it a kind of a a mini subfloor for the loft eventually I don't I probably won't do it right now but it'll cover up the ceiling anyway and um, most of it I guess I might have some uh, kind of a rail or something to kind of look down I don't know still have some ideas left swirling around um, this area over here just to show you a picture these are pictures that I was inspired by so eventually I'll do something like that maybe just two bunks and then a couch area here or something that is made of wood I have the cushions for it so that's kind of the idea of hair and I might have the bunks high enough so it'll stay out of the way of this the couch and then uh, on the bunks you could climb up into the loft and there's gonna be more pillows and stuff up there to sleep on or whatever if you want so that's kind of the general idea that's developing so okay that was the last bit that's hard part let's get this together so I had to work on blowing all of this dust out of here there's so much of it and there's two reasons all the fiberglass stuff I was working with was building up and it was getting really annoying plus the uh, the flooring that I put down all the dust from the top layer was kind of getting in getting around and as I walked on it I just want to be honest with you I I uh, I was blowing it with my leaf blower here to get the dust out and there's a lot of spots that peeled up uh, from my uh, job there uh, on both layers and I, I was mentally prepared for this because uh, there were certain spots I knew I wasn't going to be able to get all the oil off of it so uh, so since I was mentally prepared for it I, I'm not surprised you know it's 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 what it is I did learn a lot from doing it and the uh, the Portland cement mix that I put on uh, the layer that I put on first was the best layer and it seems like it's doing very well 
um, except for these little spots where probably grease was, but um, I did accomplish getting it smoothed out and, and level and uh, the cracks filled in. So I'm, I'm looking for the uh, carpet tile stuff, those carpet squares. I really like those really easy to work with and I can just kind of fill it in and if I uh, spill something on one of the carpet tiles I could just replace it with another I like that idea and so I'm looking for that uh, so but yeah I just wanted to point that out as so you knew what was happening there but uh, finally it feels better to get that dust out of here so it's not I could always see the little particles of um, the fiberglass still kind of blowing around, but it's just so nasty to, to breathe in.